tower at the Tonewood dealer through the internet, or maybe the local luthier will be willing to supply you with one or two of his or her sets. Uh, traditionally, we use uh, rosewoods and cypress and uh, maple for backs and sides. Uh, for tops, we use uh, European spruce or western red cedar. Uh, I've seen very good guitars, by the way, with Engelman spruce and even Sitka spruce. Uh, necks are usually made out of uh, sorry, Spanish uh, cedar. Uh, if you're going to use a mahogany, you can. I've seen great guitars with mahogany, but they were very light in weight. And almost exclusively ebony for the fingerboard. Um, some of these uh, hardwoods can uh, cause allerg allergic uh, reactions, so if you're uh, sensitive to that, uh, you can get skin rash and maybe uh, lung uh, problems. So don't use those, you choose one from the plethora of other woods that, that there's to choose from. Um, for this guitar we'll be using a rosewood, uh, a cocobolo, which I think looks really spectacular. Uh, it has a very nice uh, figure, and so my customer thought so too. So we, we decided on this one uh, for tone as well, of course. And uh, I found a very nice set uh, of uh, European spruce to match that. Um, if you're looking, if you if you want to hear the tone, if you if you're tap tuning or whatever, um, take the uh, piece uh, between your thumb and your index finger, bring it to your ear, and then tap it and stroke it like that, and listen Listen what happens. You're, if you're a novice, you probably won't, be, won't know what you're listening to, but as you build five or maybe ten guitars, you get a better idea. Mm -hmm.